Alright, Chores Den's got that. Fish's office, blah blah blah. Lower markets right here. And Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Moreland. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried. Or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Wow, I backed down a Krogan. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. All right, you troublemaker. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but what? I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. Oh, good lord. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the captain knows him. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Let me take a look at what you of have course. for sale. Alright. Wow, what a discount. Oh, level up. Oh, here we go. Do, do, do. What are we going to give you? Alright, so this God, I just don't know where the hell this is, and it's pissing me off. Wait a minute, so they got the Presidium there. What? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Oh! 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if I go here, well, let's see. So we got this, and now we got this. So what I want to do is I want to map this. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh, okay. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. You were cheating, though, weren't you? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Experiment? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Uh, no. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. I'm right here. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Commander, thanks again for all your help. Where is she? Huh. I'm waiting for someone else. Oh, there's Jenna. Hey there, welcome to Flex. That's all you're gonna say? I'll be right over. So you're still lazy. Okay. Hello again. Can I help you? Just passing through. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Okay, well... I don't understand... So it's over there. What the hell do I... Hmm. Okay. Hey, good to see another human in here. Let's see. So, wards access...
Let all races herald the glory of the Enkindlers who raised them. Oh, I screwed it up. Alrighty. in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Alright, so this is the ward. Ah, okay. Posting at the academy. It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Okay, so we can investigate here. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace a new signal. Oh, for crying out loud. You think it's expensive to live here? Ah. <sighs> so journal. I'm out of breath. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. All right, so Tally's going to say something about this. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays, something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. Why are you bouncing? You know, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like.
Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the first human to join the Spectres, yes? It's a great honor. One you are no doubt ready for. A word of warning, though. There are many eyes watching you now, Commander. Some of them want to see <laughs> you fail. I, however, wish you only success. Perform well and you bring the Earth Clan one step closer to joining the Council. And if they let your people in, maybe there is hope for my own species one day, yes? Yes. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, there's somewhere on the Presidium. Okay. Good going, Chief Williams. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Do we have something for Tally? Y yes, we do. But we have no money. Damn it. Oh, here we go. This is it. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence <laughs> initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence my alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Hmm. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. Oh, I would then have made tentative <laughs> contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Wow. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. 
I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. What the hell? Okay. That was it? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. They built a lake on a space station. Biotic. An artificial intelligence is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Creation of a conscious AI requires adaptive code, a slow, expensive education, and a specialized quantum computer called a blue box. An AI cannot be transmitted across a communication channel or computer network. Without its blue box, an AI is no more than data files. Loading these files into a new blue box will create a new personality, as variations in the quantum hardware and runtime results create unpredictable variations. The geth serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers of rogue AI and in Citadel space, they are technically illegal. Advocacy groups argue, however, that an AI is a living conscious entity, deserving the same rights as organics. They argue that continued use of the term artificial is institutionalized racism on the oh, part of organic Jesus life. Christ, the term racism. synthetic is considered the politically correct alternative. Yeah, well, whatever. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go down to... Oh, I wonder what Tally's going to say here. Hard to believe the Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. The Krogan rebelled against the Council, yet they have a statue on the Citadel. And we Quarians still live as outcasts. Oh, boo-hoo. So there sh should be an elevator going to C-Sec down here. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. <laughs> technicians are reportedly unsure Use of what caused fast. the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property.
Okay. So we're done here, and uh, next up we will go to the docking bay, where I guess we'll get our stuff. CSEC seems more like a military operation than a police force. Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. Ah, so you're the gypsies of the of the galaxy. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll head down and see what we're gonna do. Um, he was just gathering to create a cheat. What could be wrong with that? Yeah, we don't want to do that. So anyways, till next time, thank you for joining me. Get up my interlone.